Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, has game-changing advice for the masses. Let's explore the 12 things that often drain our pockets, according to Buffett. 1. Neglecting personal development. Buffett always emphasizes investing in oneself. For example, spending on a course today could lead to a promotion or a better job tomorrow. It's about growth, both personal and financial. Imagine you're in a stagnant position in your job, feeling like there's no room for growth. By dedicating some savings towards a digital marketing course, within a few months, you not only advance within your current company, but become a sought-after expert, attracting leading opportunities. The decision to invest in personal development thus transforms your career trajectory and financial status. Buffett's wisdom reinforces that by nurturing our talents, we pave the way for exponential returns, both personally and financially. 2. Relying on credit cards. Imagine buying a $100 item but ending up paying $130 due to interest. That's what happens if you don't clear your credit card balance. Avoid impulsive buying and save those extra dollars. Imagine you're eyeing that shiny new gadget priced at $100. You decide to buy it using your credit card, thinking, I'll pay it off next month. But life gets in the way and soon interest accumulates. By the time you manage to clear the balance, you've spent an extra $30 on interest alone. In essence, that gadget cost you $130 instead of the original price. This scenario is all too common for many. Being aware of this can help you make wiser decisions, save on interest, and avoid falling into the debt trap. 3. Frequenting bars and pubs. Consider this. Spending $50 every weekend at a bar adds up to $2,600 a year. Switching even half of those to home gatherings can save you over a grand annually. Imagine you and your friends make it a ritual to hit the local pub every Saturday night. A couple of drinks, some snacks, and before you know it, you're down $50. While it might seem like just a fun weekend expense, doing the math reveals a different story. This seemingly small amount accumulates to $2,600 in a year. Now what if you decided to host a movie night or a potluck dinner at home every other weekend? By making this slight adjustment, you could potentially save over $1,300 annually. Over a few years, think about the significant savings and what you could do with that extra money. 4. Chasing the latest technology. If you bought a $1,000 phone last year, do you really need this year's $1,200 model? It's always wise to evaluate the actual utility over the perceived value. Imagine eagerly waiting for the next big smartphone release, even though you just got the latest model a year ago. That new phone may have a few added features, but does it truly offer one toddler $200 worth of upgrades over your current $1,000 device? Before making the leap, consider how these changes genuinely impact your day-to-day -day use. You might find that the camera enhancement or slight speed bump doesn't justify the extra $200. By taking this step, you can save significantly over the years and still enjoy great tech. 5. Overspending on clothes Buying a $500 designer shirt may feel good, but a $50 classic piece can look just as chic. Over a year, choosing simplicity can save hundreds, if not thousands. Picture yourself standing in front of two shirts at a store. One is a designer piece with a $500 price tag, while the other is a classic, stylish option for $50. While the allure of the designer brand might be tempting, think about how often you'll wear it and its cost per wear. Opting for the more affordable yet equally fashionable choice consistently can save you a substantial amount over the course of a year. It's all about finding the balance between style and budget, allowing you to look great without breaking the bank. It's buying new cars. A new car can lose up to 20% of its value the moment it's driven off the lot. Investing in a reliable pre-owned car can offer better value and comparable performance. Envision yourself at a car dealership, mesmerized by a brand new shiny model priced at $40,000. However, right beside it is a slightly older model, equally reliable for just $25,000. Now if you go for the brand new one, remember that it could instantly depreciate by up to 20%, meaning you lose $8,000 the moment you drive it off the lot. On the other hand, the pre-owned one has already taken that initial hit. So, over time you get nearly the same utility and save a significant chunk up front. The allure of newness is strong, but the financial wisdom in choosing the latter is irrefutable. 7. Unused Gym Memberships A 50-monthly gym membership equals $600 a year. If it's not being used, that's money wasted. Exploring free outdoor exercises or home workouts can be equally effective. Imagine signing up for a gym, pumped and motivated. 
But as days turn into weeks, you find yourself going less and less. That 50 monthly membership fee starts to look like a $600 annual drain on your wallet, especially if the gym remains mostly unvisited. Now, picture yourself jogging in a park or doing a YouTube-led home workout, spending virtually nothing. You're still getting fit, and your pocket stays healthy too. Being active doesn't have to come with a hefty price tag. 8. Unnecessary Subscription Services Five subscriptions at $10 each monthly accumulate to $600 yearly. Regularly evaluating and trimming down these services can lead to substantial annual savings. Visualize signing up for a streaming service to watch one show, an online magazine you barely read, a music platform you rarely use, each costing around $10 monthly. Over a year, that's a $600 dent in your wallet. Now think of how often you genuinely use these services. Canceling even two of these unused subscriptions can save you $240 annually. It's essential to regularly audit and cut back on these subscriptions. Every dollar saved is a step closer to financial empowerment. 9. Over-reliance on skincare products. Using a $100 serum with a 150 moisturizer might not yield $250 results. Sometimes a $50 product can give you the same outcome. Simplify and save. Consider your bathroom counter cluttered with myriad skincare products, each promising miraculous results. You've got a $100 serum here, paired with a 150 moisturizer there, not to mention the array of cleansers, toners, and exfoliators. But here's the kicker. Combining them might not guarantee you $250 worth of skin transformation. Sometimes, a streamlined routine with a $50 product, chosen based on genuine skin needs, can offer the same, if not better, results. Opt for effectiveness over excess and watch both your skin and wallet thank you. 10. Regular nights out. Dining out at $100 per meal twice a week? That's over $10,000 a year. Occasional home-cooked meals or cheaper dining options can significantly reduce this expenditure. See yourself indulging in upscale restaurants, spending $100 per meal twice a week. But when you do the math, this lifestyle choice can cost you over $10,000 a year. Now compare that to hosting a cozy dinner at home or exploring modest dining spots occasionally. Opting for a mix of both not only diversifies your experiences, but also leads to substantial savings. By being selective about your nights out and embracing cost-effective alternatives, you can enjoy the best of both worlds without breaking the bank. 11. Gambling Putting $100 on black might double your money or you might lose it all. Buffett believes in understanding the odds. It's always better to invest than to gamble. Step into a casino and you're met with the enticing allure of potential wins. The thought of placing $100 on black and possibly doubling your money is exhilarating. But just as swiftly, you could walk away with nothing. Warren Buffett, with his immense financial wisdom, urges the importance of truly comprehending the odds. Rather than leaving your money to chance, it's infinitely wiser to channel it into calculated investments. Where gambling offers a fleeting thrill, investing promises the potential for sustainable growth. Always prioritize long-term financial strategies over the temporary allure of luck. Well, smoking. A pack-a-day smoking habit can cost upwards of $2,000 annually, depending on where you live. Quitting not only boosts your health, but also frees up a chunk of your budget. Consider this. Each time you buy a pack of cigarettes, you're not just making a health choice, but also a financial one. Depending on the region, that daily pack might set you back by $5 or more. Over a year, the cost accumulates to a staggering $2,000 or even more. This isn't even accounting for the potential health costs in the future. Opting to quit smoking doesn't just have profound health benefits. It directly translates into tangible financial savings. Every pack not smoked is money saved, paving the way for a healthier and wealthier you. Buffett's wisdom isn't just for Wall Street gurus. By being vigilant and intentional with our expenses, we can set the foundation for a stable and prosperous financial future. And speaking of prosperity, if you truly desire to follow the path of the affluent, don't miss out on my video titled 10 Millionaire Habits That Changed My Life. It's filled with invaluable habits and insights that can propel you towards greater financial success. I promise, it's a game changer. You should see a pop-up on the screen right about now. But before you dive into that, if you found value in today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join my community for more financial insights and strategies that can transform your financial trajectory. Now, I have a question for all of you. 
Which one of Buffett's money-saving habits resonated with you the most? Drop your answers in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts.